Right, my name is Lorenzo, um, I'm an Italian doctor and uh, I'm a neurology trainee with a special interest in epilepsy and I'm pursuing my PhD studies here at UCL, the Epilepsy Society, where I work on uh, MRI, magnetic resonance imaging and cognition, and, and learning and memory in several forms of epilepsy. Right, so one of the, the projects I've been involved in since I started um, focused on a form of epilepsy called juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. Um, I investigated people with juvenile myoclonic epilepsy as well as their siblings as um, brothers and sisters. And we looked at um, a, a, specific structure, a specific structure in the brain, it's called the hippocampus. It's one of the structures involved in forming uh, new memories, in making us understand where we are, um, so it's fundamental for um, spatial orientations and we can learn names, we can learn faces, so it's a fundamental structure. We were interesting, interested in understanding um, whether there are abnormalities in the structures in people with juvenile myoclonic epilepsy and in the siblings compared to people with no epilepsy and no family history of epilepsy to see also what's the differential contribution between um, epilepsy and also genetic factors and we see this by studying um, the unaffected uh, siblings. Okay. Right, so the interesting factor in, in this analysis is that we saw um, common uh, features and the same differences uh, compared to controls bo both in patients with juvenile myoclonic epilepsy and their siblings. Um, clearly the siblings do not have epilepsy. This tells us that at least some abnormalities in how the networks are organized have a genetic basis and they are sort of a, we call it an underlying uh, feature of the condition, so genetically driven, and they're not influ influenced very much by the seizures, for example, or by the medications for epilepsy which the patients are taking.